Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is episode 348 of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this thing Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is July the 25th, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have any energy, this is not the podcast to listen to today. All right? I'm just, you, you've been warned, okay? But no, today is Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. And today we are going to talk about taking chances. Why you should take chances all throughout your life. Doesn't matter how old, how young. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where you live. Doesn't matter the money you make. Why you should take chances. Chances, ladies and gentlemen, or what gets you ahead in life, okay? Let's not all be scared and play from play uh you know conservatively. Sometimes you have to roll it out. Sometimes you have to roll the dice and see where you end up, you know. Sometimes you might hit snake eyes, but that's all right. Because as long as you're breathing, ladies and gentlemen, you always got a shot. As long as you're breathing, as long as you're alive, walking, talking, you got a shot to do this thing, all right? Now, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday or today, I saw the USA Olympic basketball team. They rolled out the basketball. Now, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you know, <clears throat> the uh, the dream team. I remember 20, 20, 30 years ago, dream team, 1992, they rolled out the basketball and they dominated 40, 50, 60 points. They was winning every game, you know. And then I remember other countries, you know. They decided, they said, hey, we're all going to take a chance. We're all going to start trying to hunker down. We're all going to start improving our basketball programs, our basketball abilities. You know, more kids in these these different countries, they wanted to play basketball. And then they did it. They started. And then I remember 2004, the USA team, you know, they, they won in 92. They won in 96. They won in 2000. And people thought, ah, this team is going to. Kick everybody's butt, you know. 2004, they they won the bronze medal. Wah, wah, wah. They did not win the gold, you know. Another team won the gold. I believe it was Spain. But don't quote me on that. I believe it was Spain or Argentina won it too. All right. And so, and these teams, they said, okay, the United States is going to come back. But these teams, they kept taking these chances. They kept putting more money and more money into the basketball program, you know. And I saw first round today, or yesterday, one or two, Team USA, they lost to France, you know? And these countries could have just laid down. They could have said, you know what? 1992, the USA is going to just start putting out all these great basketball players every four years. So why should we put money into this? No. They said, "Let's let's take a chance. Let's develop our kids. Let's develop the youth. Let's get better. And let's see where it lands us, you know, during these uh, Olympic games, you know? Somebody else won in 2004. Somebody else will probably win in 2020. Somebody the, the the domination of USA basketball is what I'm trying to tell you. It's probably not eroded, you know, but it's definitely not was what, what is it's definitely not gonna be what it was, you know, in 1992. You know, these countries they took a chance. They took a chance and they said, "Hey, let's let's gamble." Boom. Let's 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 roll it out. And you know they're winning. And give you another example, you know. Some of these might be sports related. Some of these might not be sports related. I remember Mike Tyson. He was undefeated. Mike Tyson was the greatest thing smoking him in, in, in boxing, okay? Nobody was beating Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was whooping butt, okay? And then Buster Douglas came along. He was a 42, a 42 to 1 odd shot to beat Mike Tyson. Buster Douglas, he took a chance. He said, "This I'm going to fight. Like, this is my last fight. I'm going to fight like this is my last night on earth. Buster Douglas, he trained hard. He fought. He was training, training, training. He was focused. He was motivated. You know, he was determined. Buster Douglas, he could have rolled down and laid down like a like a dog. But did he? No. He decided. He said, you know what? I'm going to kick Mike Tyson's butt. And on a cold night in Japan in 1990, I believe, Buster Douglas beat Mike Tyson. It was so shocking to all of us here in America, everybody across the world, that Mike Tyson got beat. The funny part is, hardly nobody, hardly 
I so saw Mike Tyson get beat up, you know, because people was like, ah, another fight, another Tyson fight. This is in Japan. Ah. But Mike Tyson, he lost, you know, and Buster Douglas took a chance, got him, you know, and I just saw this, I saw this thing recently about, it's a show called The Movies Made Us, The Movies That Made Us. There's about Forrest Gump, the great Robert Zemeckis. You know, he was fighting with Paramount Pictures about Forrest Gump, one of the best movies of all time, one of my favorite movies, actually, you know? And so they didn't want to roll out the budget. And he's, him and Tom Hanks, they they took a gamble. They said, hey, we're going to put up some of our money, but we want some points. We want some points for this movie, okay? You know, they took a gamble, they took a risk, and the risk, woo, paid off. Tom Hanks and Robert Zemeckis, they got 40 to 50 million bucks from the movie because you know, the movie grossed like 600 700 million or something like that you know and uh both of them came out they came out clean on the other side you know and so these are chances that people took and for you you know let's say <laughs> i give you another example of a i give you another example of a of, of, of risk i've heard people take i have a cousin god bless okay she used to, now where I grew up, they had bingo. B-I-N-G-O. If you ever played bingo, I'm sure we all have. But where, where, where I'm from, where I grew up in Missouri, it's bingo for money, okay? Bingo for cash. People play bingo for the for the monies, you know? And uh, it's, uh, it's very exciting, I, I must say. And then in Missouri, well, where I'm from in Missouri, Southeast Missouri, you can... You can start going to bingo when you're 16, you know. So when you go, you're 16, you know, it's kind of, and like, you know, the first time I ever went, because it's a, hey, listen, in my family, it's, it's, tr it's a tradition, you know. And I was thinking about my daughter the other day, and I said, you know, two things my daughter's going to learn from her old daddy. Now, don't, they don't snitch to my wife now. Don't be a snitch now. But two things I'm going to teach my daughter one of these days. Um, you know, the pick three and uh bingo <laughs> and bingo. I'm only kidding. I'm only uh half kidding, you know what I mean? But you know, no, but they have bingo. So you pay you pay money, you know, and and back in the day you could either pay with cash or you could write a check, you know. So I had a cousin and she would she would float a check. Now if you don't know what floating check means, it means you're doing all right with yourself. But back in the day you could write a check, you know, you might not have any money in your checking account, but you know. In the two or three days when they cash, you might want to have some money in there, you know. So my cousin, she would write a check. She would float the check. She'd have zero dollars in the bank. She would write a check, maybe 70 bucks, you know. Now, she would go and she would <laughs> take a check. Now, this is a stupid chance, you know. Like, I don't advise you to take this kind of chance. This is just an example of another chance. This is dumb, but, you know, this ain't calculated at all. But she would, she would write a check for like 70 bucks, 75 bucks, you know. She would go and uh, she would go to bingo. She would hit. Like she would win, win like 400 bucks, you know, and then she would run to the bank, put the hundred dollars in there, you know, like the next morning, you know, and, uh, you know, a couple of days later, they would cast the check and she'd be like, "Woo, you know, I, I floated that check, you know, it's, it's uh, I'm like, man, that's crazy. That's a chance of it, you know, but, you know, there's all kinds of chances that you could take in the world, you know, and sometimes one, one chance that people, one chance that people don't do a lot of times, you know, it's, it's becoming more of the norm now but one thing that people don't do sometimes they don't bet on themselves you know because they don't believe in themselves you know and if you if you have a feeling you know it doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter if you if you're going to box be a heavyweight champion of the world or you want to write a movie script or you want you want to write a book or you want to start a television show you know <clears throat> i mean look up Issa Rae for you know for you know crying out loud she started on a youtube channel you know and this is a very cool story you know Issa Rae she does um What's that show? What's that show? HBO Insecure, I believe. My wife enjoys that show. She she banned me. I would try to watch one episode with her, with her but she she banned me from watching it with her. But that's cool because yeah, I don't get it. But she started off on a YouTube channel, you know, <clears throat> and then HBO. She got to deal with HBO, you know. So the chance she took is, you know, because it's a for all of us, for you, for me, you know. Putting yourself out there in the public, you know, in the, in the public eye for consumption, you know, for criticism, for flack, for slack, you know, for, for all the words you want to use, you know, putting yourself out there for public consumption. 
it's a very hard thing to do you know it it sounds you know people like oh we will be no but you have to put yourself out there and you are giving yourself you're giving a piece of yourself to the public you know whether i know a lot of people like you know they want to be famous or whatever they want the fame they want the money but then they want they want to be super private about their lives you know which is you can be but there's there's a certain you know it's like uh you know i don't know these days people want people want to know you you know what i mean like people want to know you especially if you are going to be popular in the in the in the public eye you know what i mean like let's say you have a nice youtube channel you know people people are going to people are people are going to look you up people are, are People, people will want to know more about you. You know what I mean? And so there's a chance that you can get criticized. There's a chance that old things that you might have said in the past, you know, on your Twitter account might pop up, you know. So there's a there's a chance at all. There's, there's a risk, you know. But for you, are you willing to take that chance? Which I definitely think you should be. There's, there's, there's so much beauty. There's so much, you know, hope and taking a chance, you know, like there's something to be proud of yourself. You know, it doesn't matter if you, if the chance doesn't work or the chance does work, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a sense of pride you should have in yourself for taking a chance. You know what I mean? Let's say you like, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll take this to relationships. Let's say, Man, girl, I don't care what you are. What if you like somebody? Okay, let's say you like somebody, you know, and you don't want to do the whole, you know, you, you're tired of beating around. You don't want to beat around the bush. You want to go right to the person face to face. Forget, forget all the text messages and all that nonsense, the, the Instagram, you know, you really you really like this person. And you want to tell this person in their face. Hey, I like you. You know what I'm saying? And let's say you, they live 60 miles. Away. Let's say they live 60 miles away in another town. You know, we'll say we'll, we'll, we'll say this is young love. Let's say, let's say, yeah, yeah. Let's say, let's all go, let's all jump in the time machine, shall we? Let's all go back to when we were 16, 17. You know, when we first probably really had a crush on somebody, you know, let's all go back. Let's say they stay in the next town over, you know, because a lot of times it's 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 July. It's the summertime, you know. Well, here in America, it's the summertime. But let's say it's the summertime and you're 16, you know, and you meet somebody. You meet them at a park. You meet them at a whatever, you know, and you you spend the, you spend a couple of days with them because this is normally what happens. You know, this is teenage angst. OK, so you spend some you spend some time with them. You like them. And you really want you really want them to be yours, you know what I mean? And the, but they live in a town, we'll say it's 40 miles away, you know. And when you're 16, 40 miles could be God bless you, but 40 miles could be 400 miles if you don't have a car, you know what I mean? And uh let's say you really want them to you really want them to know that you like them and you really want to put yourself out there. And so you find a ride, you get a ride somehow, you get to these 40 miles, you know, and y'all you're heavy breathing, you're sweating, you know. You go up to the person's house or wherever they live. You knock on the door, you know, and you say, hey, how are you? <laughs> you know, and there's the awkward pause because you're 16 and you commu your communication skills are kind of not great. You know, they trust me. I, we've all been there. But and then you're sitting there and you're like, hey, I really like you. You know, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Yada, yada, yada. I would like to know if we could pursue this thing further. And they say flat out, I don't think so. I don't think this is gonna work for me. Oh, 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 goodness. You know, that is something to be commended because you took a chance. You know what I mean? Now, you in in in, in that moment, in that moment, you know, there's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of you know mixed feelings you might have, but you should be proud of yourselves because you took a chance. You said, you know what? I'm putting myself out there. I am here. I like you and I want to be with you. You know, that's a chance you took. You know, sometimes the chance is going to work out. Sometimes it won't work out. But these are the breaks. And every day in your life, you have 
you have the opportunity to take chances, you know. And the more chances you take, man, the happier you will be with yourself because you don't want to live in the world of what ifs. What if I would have done this? What if I would have done that? What if I would have could have should have? I'm telling you, you know, chances are, well, first off, chances are kind of fun sometimes. You know what I mean? I, I remember once, I'll tell you a goofy story. Yeah? <clears throat> One time I was, uh, when I wore, when I wore a younger man's clothes, I was uh, on a roof and, uh, you know, we was all, and they was like, man, who's going to jump, jump, jump off the roof? <laughs> who's going to jump off the roof? And I was like, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a, tr- I'm a try this out. You know, I jumped. <clears throat> Thank God I didn't break my ankle. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't break my ankles, but, uh, I jumped. It was dumb. It hurt. It, it hurt very much, but. I jumped. It was fun. It was exciting. I was like, wow, I took a chance. I didn't break my ankles. <laughs> but thank God I didn't break my ankles. But that was a chance. A dumb one. You know, another dumb one, you know. <clears throat> Maybe in my family we make dumb decisions. I don't know. But anyway. But chances are and and when it comes when it comes when it comes to your business, you know, let's let's circ- let's get let's bring this thing back. When it comes to your business, you know, the more chance you take, you know, the more the better off you will be, you know, because because in the in the beginning, listen, in, in the beginning, we all know, you know, seriously, but we all know in the beginning of any business, you're swimming upstream, you know, you, you're the little guy, you're punching in the air, you know, you're like, <laughs> you know, you, you, you're climbing, you're climbing a mountain, you're on a journey, you know, you're going uphill, going upstream, you know, whatever pun you want to use, you're, you're, but you're doing it, you know, you're out there, you know. You know, hey, I'm out here. I'm out here. You know, and it's uh, it's refreshing. It's fun. It's very exciting. And I suggest, you know, cat, you know, be it's 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 one of those things. You know, um, <laughs> I'm gonna quote a uh, I want to use a, a line from the the Mighty Ducks three, ladies and gentlemen, when. The coach, he said, Conway, he said, you know, be cautious, but at the same time, he's like, if you have an open shot, take it. Take the shot if you have a shot, you know. Go for it, you know. So that's my, you know, that's my conundrum for you, you know. You figure out, you take the chance, you know. You know, you know, don't, don't make, you know, there are some, there's some chance that, you know, hey, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's like if you got a shot, if you got a shot from three court, it's like if you got a sh- wide open shot, you know, and you're 75 feet away from the basketball goal, you know, that's not a, that's a very low percentage. You know, you're not going to take that shot no matter how open you are. Right. Of course. Of course not. So, you know, let's uh, let's let's reel it in, but let's take chances. But let's not just let's not just shoot fish in a barrel. You know what I mean? Like. Take your chance, you know. You know, you know what you got to do to get to where you want to go. You know, take those chances, but at the same time, you know, hey, don't be, don't be, don't, don't be, don't be crazy. You know, don't be, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right, and so don't shoot, the, don't shoot the, don't shoot the ball from 90 feet when, if you just, just because you're wide open. You know, dribble, dribble, dribble the ball up some, and then take a, take a 30 foot shot. You know, 40 foot shot. You know, something like that. You know. Don't shoot from behind the, uh, you know, don't do the impossible. You know what I mean? But take your chances, run with it, and uh, go for it. You know, go for the gusto. And um, it'll be fun, you know. That, that applies to a lot of things in life, you know. If it's, if it's somebody you like right now, you know, like don't be, don't be, don't be. <laughs> don't be nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous. I laugh because, you know, it's, uh. It's 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 fun, you know. I mean, hey, listen. One one of the um, even though I had a sneaky feeling, my wife would say yes. One of the most one of the most ner- nervous things that I've ever asked a woman is when I ask my wife to marry me, you know, because <clears throat> you sitting there and you're like, I believe she, I believe she's gonna say yes, but you never know, you know. So that's that's why I was laughing because I thought about that. I asked my wife to uh, marry me, and she was like, uh, she said yes. And I was like, oh, whew. 
I was like, oh, I'm glad, you know, because that's kind of, you know. But, you know, relationships, friendships, all that stuff, you know, business-wise, you know, and take the chances, you know, like, just just, just go for it. It'll be all right, you know. And uh, if you flame out, man, you flame out at first, you know. Man, one man, you know. You flame out, you flame out, you know. Don't be, dust yourself off, come back, you know, try it again, you know. Hey. You'll be amazed. You'll you'll be amazed at when you start taking taking real chances. Okay, I remember I I walked one day. <clears throat> I went to college for one semester. I, I and then I, I quickly realized I said this this ain't gonna work. You know? So I walked to the I walked up a hill. I never forget this. Walked up a hill. Walked into the uh, it was it was like four. It was like Army recruiting. It was the Air Force recruiting, the Marine recruiting, and the Navy recruiting. I mean, I just sat there for about two minutes, and I said, "Any, many, mighty, what mo?" And I said, "And I was, and I, and I, I was, and I said, no, not the Marines." I said, I don't, "I don't think I'm a Marine." And I said, "The Army, eh? Nah, that's okay." Then I said, "Air Force or Navy? Which one?" And I thought to myself, "I said, I said, see." Being on the water doesn't seem that bad, you know. And so, <clears throat> and I also held that my uncle was in the Navy, but I, I thought about him a little bit. But I said, Air Force or the Navy? Air Force or the Navy? Then I said, I'll try the Navy. And so, you know, I took the chance and it paid off, you know. I met two of my best friends in the whole wide world, you know, and I had a lot of fun. I got to move to San Diego. So that, that was a chance, you know, I took in life, you know. Every decision I probably ever made has been sort of kind of like, you know, Never, never that, you know, like, like the my my planet my when I was young the planet I I used to have was downright terrible. I would be like, eh, it's time to take a chance, you know what I mean? And then you know I'd sort of go for it, and it, it you know a lot of things worked out, you know, because I'm kind of a stubborn mule and don't quit. But you know that's you know that's <laughs> that's uh you know that's another trait. I don't know if it's good or bad, but hey. It is what it is, you know what I mean? And so, you know, take your chances, take your take take your risk, you know, go for it. We talked about I talked about it yesterday, writing ads and stuff like that, you know. If you write ads, you write headlines, you know, be a little, you know, be a little, you know, put push it, push it a little bit, you know, take a chance, you know, push it. Don't be milk toast, you know. Push push the headlines, push your content, you know, be a little edgy if you if if that's if that's who you are, you know what I mean? Like, you know. Push, push it, you know, because there's so much content out here these days, you know, you want to stand out, you know, I'm not saying you have to say the most crazy things that you don't believe in, but if you believe in something, stand on it, you know, push it, push the envelope, you know, push the buttons, you know, push the buttons of people, people, people need to put buttons push, people want the buttons push, all right, you know what I mean, so, you know, there you go, there you have it, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it, I gotta go get in the pool, you know, this is probably be my last weekend, uh, me and my wife, you know, I just I told her this morning, I said, I said, I better go get in the pool because you know next week we'll probably be, you know, changing diapers or whatever next Sunday. So, you know, but I'll I'll keep I'll keep you I'll keep you ladies and gentlemen updated. All right. But uh anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the podcast today. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of online marketing moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody. Everybody, I say good day, and I also say peace.